Hey, Chris here from Dirk Gear Australia. Just thought I'd give you a bit of an upgrade on where I'm up to on my project, the Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, it's a 2019 Laramie, uh, the ASV model. One of the best things about the Laramie is the uh, remote keyless start. So cool when you can play that trick on all your friends in the car park. So we've got the standard grill, just been plastic dipped in black. For all those people out there with the Laramies, you know how shocking your headlights are. So they run a projector headlight and the best thing you can do is upgrade high and low beam to LED, both done there. Okay, moving on to the wheels. I run a fuel rim, uh, 20 by 10, with an 18 mil negative offset. Okay, so it gave me a really nice wheel track. However, as you know, the Laramies have a flare that comes with them, a standard flare, but to get that coverage, I had to go to the Bushwhacker Max Coverage Flares, and uh, thank you Trucks and Toys for those. Got those painted white to match the vehicle. Um, little black and white hemi, a little black hemi badge. Mirrors have also been plastic dipped in black just to see how those go. Uh, while it was at the paint shop, got the door handles done too. So as we come around to the back of the vehicle, for those guys out there you might see, the chrome ram badge also been painted white while it was at the paint shop. Rear bumper bars been painted black, uh, Laramie badge. Also got the tail lights tinted at the same time. They were, they were actually sprayed. Um, for those eagle eyes out there, you might see the third brake light's been tinted and it's just one of those cheap ones off eBay. Seems to do the job and everything else like that. Under the vehicle, I've got a King Spring two and a half inch lift with Blistine front shocks and standard rear shocks. Uh, a Torquid exhaust system. It's a twin three inch exhaust system out to five inch tips. Pretty loud. Um, you, I don't mind it, I love it. Kids love it. So inside the vehicle, Everything else has been kept standard at this stage, but I am running the iDrive, and wow, yeah, for a sub $300 product, it just makes the truck so much more lively. Down change is easier, it's just lighter on the throttle, you don't have to sort of push it along, and it really gets up and zips along. I think they've got a zero a setting from zero to nine, mate. I just leave it on five, and that's fine. So there you go. So that's where I'm up to with the modifications on the Dodge Ram 1500 and uh, stay tuned for the next set. Thanks.